Today in this new world, I want adventure, excitement, and loot. So we're gonna go exploring. But first, I've been mining again, and we got some diamonds. So let's make an underwhelming enchanting setup. It's gonna be a little bit scuffed, because I don't think that I have enough bookshelves yet. And also because I'm not going to do a pretty build for it right now. Let's see, I've marked this area out for potentially a storage room. Kind of don't want to do it where everything around it is pretty. We have this weird ugly area. I think it'll fit right in here with our cruddy animal pen. This area is henceforth the scuffed lands. So the main purpose of this is to see if we can get fortune or silk touch. Because I found more diamonds and I don't want to get them yet. Oh, just efficiency? What if I go with an axe? Okay, it really wants me to have efficiency. I'm gonna do it and hope for the best. Ah, uh, that wasn't good. Dumb enchanting setup. Why is it like this? Now what? Still the same. Okay, well maybe when we're exploring we'll find a nice enchanted book. It's kind of our only hope right now. And I think we have everything we need. Luna, wish me luck. I'll be back soon, hopefully with some good books. And so off we went, heading south down the river. I think we found our first loot. See that? I think that's a shipwreck. Ah, the sun's going down though. Okay, I'm gonna make a door so we can breathe and I'm gonna sleep. Okay, okay, let's take a look now. Oh, it looks like a good one. Oh, and it's got sea pickles. Door. Wait, I want it place. Oh, 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 don't drown. Okay, we're fine. Just don't try to place the door on the slabs. There should be a chest in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's got lots of iron. Actually, we don't really need iron. I found a giant iron vein earlier. Are there any other chests? This is all covered in sand. Oh, I see one. Please don't drown. Uh, there's nothing here. Well, it didn't give us much, but we tried. I'm going to keep sailing around the coastline here. And we've reached what looks like maybe kind of a big desert. This is good. I would like desert temples, please. What is this? These structures are, is this like a well, but underground? Oh, <gasps> wait, that's not a well. It's a desert temple. It's so underground. I've never seen one so buried before. When I go to these, there's almost always a creeper. So I'm always really scared. Oh, I don't think there is one. Okay. And then we've got to dig down here. Please have better loot than the shipwreck. That's all I ask. Let's see. Uh, well, this isn't the best. I'll take bones. And then we've got, ooh, sweeping edge. That's not what we want, but we have a golden apple. And then not a lot in here. I guess a couple of these things will be useful, but I'm pretty sure Minecraft just hates me. Okay, let's keep going. Wait, I already see something. That's not another temple, right? I think it's a village. Oh, yes, look at that. Cute little desert village. Hey, everyone. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take all your food. They didn't have much either, although I did finally get a beetroot seed. Beetroot hype. What's that brown stuff? Is it terracotta or a shipwreck? Oh, it's terracotta. There's a tiny mesa. Wow, this is really, really tiny. But what if it means that there's a bigger mesa nearby? We'll be able to go on mine shafts and we can get all the gold we don't need. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Is this my render distance being funky? Oh yeah, I think it's, wait, is it my render distance? No, nope, that's just funky terrain. <laughs> It's so weird. Well, at least we found the mesa. It's so bright and pretty here. I really like it. Next, I found one of those mesa mineshaft thingies and it did seem to be pretty small, but it also had the best loot yet. Diamonds and a name tag. Next to it, I found this village, so I took their brewing stands and then we headed back through the mesa and to the desert again. Oh my gosh, one of these again? Is there a single normal temple in this world? Whoa. The world is crumbling. Okay, we're going in. Please be good. Uh, nope. Well, this one has a saddle. I do already have a saddle. And we got Curse of Binding. No, thank you. And more bones. And on that note, it's probably home time. Uh, we're finally home. Did you miss me? You can come off that now. We really have returned with the most random inventory of stuff here. And we're also lacking places to put some of it. Oh, we'll plant the beetroot though. We did get a few more books, so we should be able to complete this. And it probably still wants to just give us efficiency. Yeah. Ah, I really want silk touch. I kind of need it for these mushrooms. I want to use them to build. Maybe we can reset it if we make something else with efficiency. Let's make a diamond axe. 
Please be good. No! <laughs> okay, I have a new plan. We need some more levels and we could do some enchanted books and we have a lot of string, so we're gonna go fishing. Oh, and if it gives us a second name tag, we can finally name Evie and Luna. Let's see, I think this area should be deep enough over here. I think it's gotta be about four by four blocks of water. We'll make a little pier. Well, I didn't say it'd look good. If that's the purpose, let's fish. So I did get pretty carried away fishing, but I really wanted to level up and get some good enchanting books. And I did go over to the enchanting area a couple of times to re-roll. So we got some random enchanted tools and we got some pretty okay books we can apply to things. And then I got a really good fishing rod and a couple of really good bows. Oh yeah, I think this is the best. It's like a really good bow. And we are really running out of space. I'm kind of just throwing things in random chests at this point. But I think what we're gonna do next is make our dream pickaxe. So, I managed to get silk... Wait, are you joking? Silk touch? Oh, it's only with the iron one! I thought it was usually the same. Okay, we're making an iron one. And then for our efficiency diamond pick, we'll just add unbreaking. Okay, we got the bare minimum. Now we can get the mushroom blocks for our builds, and we can get the diamonds I left down in the mines. I think there's one lot of diamonds down here. Oh, here it is. Okay, that is seven diamond ore ready for whenever we get fortune. I also collected a bunch of wood earlier, so I think we're ready to build a storage room. The plan is to do it right on this little starter island next to all of our other stuff. So starting maybe here. The main thing I have planned here is that I want it to be very indoor outdoor. So no actual door, you'll just be able to kind of walk in and out. I think that'll be fun because this is just a little island so it means we can light it up easy enough. It shouldn't be too unsafe. So the entrance here and I want to do something kind of weird and plan it a little bit from the inside out. Actually not like this. Oh my gosh all the frogs are so distracting and cute. Maybe this could be barrels and then this could be another of chests. It'd help if I could fill in this hole. This is a very weird way to build, but I think we've got it. Plans in my brain. We're doing good. Now I'm going to make all these pillars five tall. I just realized I'm going to need scaffolding. So bamboo jungle we go. Hey, you stole my boat. Now we'll build up some framework for the roof. We have the frame in. I feel like it kind of gets really fun and easy from here. Like if this was a drawing, we'd have done the drawing and we'd be coloring it in. So we basically just fill in the walls and the roof and then we do the details. Ta-da! The walls and roof are in. I even added the mushroom blocks as texture. It's looking pretty cute so far, but we've got to do all the details still. And also the interior. I've gotten this far with it. Okay, let's start with some details around the front here. Well, this could be the back. They're kind of both fronts. And my favorite decor item, lanterns. I think we'll go spore blossom here and lantern above it. And then the other spore blossom goes on this side. Actually, I think I'll make some chains to hang some lanterns off. Here we go. So maybe we can try fence, chain, and lantern. And now we need to deal with the top section. I kind of like the idea of this being a balcony and with the lantern. For these sides, we've kind of got these weird fake windows. They look very bad, but I feel like they'll look good from far away. Once we have glass in, we're gonna make them pink. And that's basically the outside done. I really like how a little island looks. It's coming out really pretty. I'd actually really like to name our area, maybe something Grove or something Valley. I don't know, but if you have any ideas, please help me. We still need to finish off the inside. I think we'll go for a spruce floor around the edges. And then for this part, maybe mushroom blocks. I think for now I'll leave it like this. It's kind of weird, but kind of cute, kind of fun. We do need a crafting table somewhere. And we also need spots for our furnaces. Maybe just like there. I really like how this is coming out. It's going to be so practical and useful for kind of early to mid game. We do need a labeling system though. I'd like to use a mixture of item frames and also signs with glow ink. 
Of course, we don't actually have the resources for those. Although, I think we can get leather pretty easily. Let's add another cruddy animal pen. In the scuffed lands, of course. It's a cow. Hello, cow. Are there any more cows? Aren't you meant to spawn with friends? Oh, I see friend. In the pen. Yay. And we'll breed you. Okay, we should have enough leather for item frames in pretty much no time. Now we need to get some glow squid. Glow squid are meant to spawn in full darkness, under level 30, and in the water. So we're going to go down and clear out a space. This area should do it. I would make a full automatic farm, but I don't have any of the supplies. So we'll just make a manual area. Now we basically have an empty pool. So we're going to put some water in it and we'll take out the lighting. And then we wait and see if any glow squids spawn. I really hope this works. Well, we got the item frames and we got the glow ink. Now our storage is looking beautiful and complete. Look at this. I really like the signs. I haven't tried doing cute signs before. I added little hearts and they're pink and I pretty much moved everything over. I feel so organized. This is going to be great. Do you love it, Evie? I'm going to move the last of my stuff over, but I think that'll be all for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.